thank you so much for being here. Thank you to the organizers. Thank you to all of the organizations and individuals, the thousands and thousands of you around our country who are already working in your local communities. It is an inspiration to stand with such tireless, fearless, inspirational people who, in spite of this government's intransigence, are still saying, refugees are welcome here. Now, last Thursday, there was a replica tank on display just up the road in Trafalgar Square to mark a hundred years of the use of tanks in battle. And without irony, we are here today to stand up for those who are too often the innocent victims of those tanks. Innocent victims of war and persecution, of torture and violence. And not only are we facing the biggest refugee crisis since the Second World War, but we are also fighting to keep Europe united, fighting for the right to seek sanctuary, fighting to keep borders from becoming walls. Why is it that we're taking a leaf out of the politics of Donald Trump and building a monstrous wall in Calais? That wall will be a sign of the government's failure and it will be a stain on our reputation in the world. And so we say to the government, we want you to build bridges, not walls. The solution to this refugee crisis is not just humanitarian, it is political will. This is not a crisis of numbers of people coming, it is a crisis about the way the government is managing it. When each country tries to work unilaterally, then they fail and we let down people who have already been let down so many times before. For their sakes, we must be united. And this government and Theresa May have got it so wrong. From the camps at our own borders with France to our refusal to cooperate with other EU member states. The government has failed to recognise that those seeking refuge in the UK are not desperate to come here, they are just desperate. And friends, despite inequality and hardship here in Britain, so many people have stretched out their hand of friendship and welcome and have wanted to help. I am so proud of the so many amazing initiatives that are happening. Let me give a shout out in particular to the wonderful Hummingbird Project in my own city of Brighton. They are doing amazing work in Cali. I've been there and seen it firsthand. To Refugee Support Europe, another organisation from Brighton who are working in the camps in Greece. And to the xenophobes and to the racists, we say this. To be British is to welcome others. It is to share at a bigger table, not hide behind a bigger fence. So earlier this year, the writer Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie delivered a powerful speech in which she said, it is time for a new narrative a narrative in which we truly see those about whom we speak. Let us tell a different story. And I agree with her. Let us tell and hear the stories of those who have been made voiceless by our inhumane and inefficient asylum system, of those who've left behind homes and jobs simply to find safety and security, of those who've traveled unimaginable distances to reunite with loved ones, let us hear their hopes and dreams and let us take action. Together we've already persuaded the government to take in far more refugees than they originally planned. Together we've dug deep to provide everything from tents to trainers, from torches to t-shirts. Many have opened their homes to those in need. But hearing the voices of those in search of refuge also means honouring what they say. And so together we say it's time to end those restrictive family reunion rules which are so cruel and counterproductive. It is time to end immigration detention, time to end the
dangerous journeys across international waters, I am proud to be co-leader of a Green Party which will stand with you all together in solidarity because together we demand an immigration system that is based on human rights as together we raise our voices to say refugees are welcome here. Thank you.